This week on The Muse, Paris returns with the Deck the Walls Paris Contest, and we can't wait to see your Christmas spirit. Plus, a new business opens in Paris, and we hope to get you in and out as fast as we can. And Christmas festivities are underway, and we prepare for the Christmas parade this weekend. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse, and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. Welcome to the Christmas season. It's that time of year again, and when it comes to the return of the Deck the Walls Paris contest, we hope you're ready to show off your holiday spirit. The annual Deck the Walls Lights and Decoration Contest is returning to Paris this December, and we are now accepting submissions. Submit an untouched photo or video of a decorated home in Paris using the hashtag DeckTheWallsParis on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can submit your entry via email to socialmedia at cityofparis.org with the subject line Deck the Walls Paris. The contest is open from now until December 26th, and the winner will be announced with the first muse of the new year and the winner will receive a trophy a 100 dollars gift card to home depot and of course good old-fashioned bragging rights so let's get to picture taken and get those submissions in for the annual deck the walls lighting and decorating contest and continuing with the christmas theme this past saturday paris kicked off the holiday season with our annual tree lighting event and winter wonderland for more on this past weekend's festivities here's serena marie The holiday spirit has begun. The Paris community enjoyed sleigh rides, a petting zoo, musical performances, and pictures with Santa at the City of Paris annual Christmas tree lighting. The Paris community and surrounding schools, cheerleaders, community partners, and so many more came together to enjoy the Christmas holiday spirit. Don't miss out on loads of holiday fun with the up and coming parade and breakfast with Santa. Stay connected so you don't miss out. For PTV, I'm Serene Marie. Thanks, Serena. Last week we told you about Orange Vista High School and their quest to make the state championship against Lucerna High School. Last Friday, the two faced off at the CIF State Division 2A SoCal Regional Final. Orange Vista was not able to hold on to an early lead and unfortunately fell to Lucerna in a 50-32 loss at Cal High School in Whittier, California. Orange Vista, who finished 11-4, was led by quarterback Khalil Abdul Aziz, who passed for 191 yards and a touchdown, and Arizona State commit running back Sayer Gaines, who ran for 67 yards and a score. It wasn't the result we all wanted, but on behalf of all of us here in Paris, we are still incredibly proud of the Coyotes, and we all want to say congratulations on an awesome football season. And you may have already seen the lines. As of November 30th, 2023, in and out has officially opened in Paris. As with all locations, fresh ingredients will be supplied to the store from in and out where hamburger patties are made from 100% American beef. The restaurant will employ approximately 80 In-N-Out Burger Associates with a starting wage of $19 per hour. There will be one drive through lane, indoor seating for 74 guests, and a covered patio with outdoor seating for additional 45 guests. All In-N-Out Burger locations are open daily from 10.30 to 1 a.m. and until 1.30 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Officially official, we'd like to welcome In-N-Out to Paris. And now let's take a look at your five-day forecast. Winter is almost upon us, and that means cold and overcast mornings throughout the week here in Paris, with lows dropping down to the low 40s at night. The wind will blow mostly out of the north. We can expect a slight chance of rain showers this weekend, so make sure and bring a jacket and umbrella with you if you're going to be attending our Christmas parade on Saturday morning. Stay safe, Paris, and now back to the studio. Thanks, me. All right, wrapping up today, a couple items before we go. This weekend, we continue marching through the holidays with our 33rd annual Christmas parade at 10 a.m. on Saturday, December 9th, 2023, right here in downtown Paris on the route of D Street and San Jacinto Avenue. 
Sanctioned by the SCSBOA, the city will be awarding first, second, and third place winners. Parade entry deadlines have already passed, and so pre-judging will begin on December the 8th, 2023 at the Bob Glass Gym at 5.30 p.m. For more information on the parade, you can contact the Bob Glass Gym at 951-943-6603. You won't want to miss it. Don't be late. Starts at 10 a.m. sharp. And lastly today, what's Christmas without Santa? Breakfast with Santa will begin on Saturday, December 16th at the Bob Glass Gym with two seatings offered, the first at 9 a.m. and the second at 10.45 a.m. Bring your family and friends and come meet Santa and his elves. The cost is $9.50 for those ages five and up and children under four are free. You must register in advance and you can get your picture taken and get a festive frame for the cost of only $3. Sign up now because space is limited. For more information, contact 951-943-6603. And that'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at City of Paris. And subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around the clock continued coverage wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale, and that's the muse.